हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू द चैनल संपूर्ण अध्ययन दिस इज पवन गुप्ता आई एम अ रिसर्च स्कॉलर एंड आई वुड लाइक टू टेक योर अटेंशन टूवर्ड्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इशू ऑफ प्रेजेंट पैंडमिक पीरियड दैट इज हाउ टू मैनेज योर बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट एंड हाउ टू हैंडल दिस वेरी डेंजरस आउटकम ऑफ द मेडिकल वेस्ट एज वी ऑल नो दैट सडनली ड्यू टू दिस कोरोना वायरस पैंडमिक The use of masks, gloves, PPE kits, and other medical safety gears have enormously increased all across the globe. In India itself, we all are using these biomedical protective gears at the different levels, like offices, homes, hospitals, labs, etc. Actually, these biomedical waste becomes very dangerous when they got mixed with the normal day-to-day waste. So now let's talk about how to segregate these biomedical waste safely so that it will not create any further issue to living beings and especially our environment. These biomedical waste used to generate during the medical treatments in hospitals, during dressing in dispensaries, during tests in pathological labs, during diagnosis or during immunizations of any living beings like human and animals. it may also generate in various research labs at and also at home level treatment as well actually as per the biomedical waste management rule 2016 these waste used to generate at the following levels first one is at ot level that is operation theater level second one is at ward level in hospitals and healthcare institutions third level is lab level or pathological level as per the rule There are three different colored coded test bins or disposal bags we have to use for the disposal or segregation of these biomedical waste. The first one is red colored non-chlorinated bags or test bins. The second one is yellow colored non-chlorinated bags or test bins. And third one is white colored tampered and punctured proof bags or test bins. Now let me tell you which type of waste have to put in which colored bags first of all if you have waste like mask gloves pp kits aprons so you have to dismantle or cut such waste in a way so that no other person can use it further also if you have syringes needles drips or any surgical types of waste again dismantle or cut these sharp waste in such a way so that it pre- uh, it prevents any further use now let me tell you that what you have to put into the yellow colored dust bins you can put cotton swabs dressings blood bags plaster waste human tissues organs body parts blood bandages pharmaceuticals beddings mattresses etc in the red color dust bin you can put all the contaminated recyclable waste like gloves mask plastic aprons plastic body of syringes also glucose bottles iv tubes urine bags now in the white color dust bins you have to put all dismantle syringes needles scalps or other surgical sharp equipments for any kind of a glassware biomedical waste you can use a blue color hard board made boxes which are much safer than other dust bins now non medical general waste can be put into the normal black colored dust bins or bags here we have to notify one thing that or we have to careful one thing that we should not put any kind of a biomedical waste into the black colored or normal dust bins because it will get mixed with it and further it will create lot of hazardous effects biomedical waste can potentially affect the environment and health safety of the living beings like human and animals both therefore we should learn and practice this culture of right way of segregating the biomedical waste i hope this video has given you useful information and we all together make our planet and environment safe and clean share this video as maximum as possible with your friends and family persons so that they can understand the right way of disposing or segregating the biomedical waste please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification on any latest uploads if you like the video please press the like button also we will meet soon so thanks for watching